Uh, this is Racer kk 10 r welcoming you back to more Real Racing 3 gameplay. Um, my tablet decided to reboot, so we're going to pick it up from where we left off. Uh, not bad. Let's uh, proceed, Grasshopper. We did do the customization. Win this event without going off track. I was just about to say, when we got around turn 3 for the fourth attempt that uh, looked like all we need to do is stay on track and we'll win and then the tablet just froze. I may have lost the video, I'm not sure. I may have to spend some time on it to try to fix it. It's corrupted. So the strategy is to stay on the track, not hit the back of the car, hit the side of the car. And then on this one, you go around the outside of one car and the inside of the other on the next turn. Good. So stay on the track there. This is a shorter version. I can tell by the shape of the track that just showed up in the map. It appears we have the race in the bag, as long as we can stay on the track. Sometimes those corners that have those grids in them are considered on track, so you can cut a little bit of a corner there. Still stay on track, still stay, stay fast. So far ahead, I'm going to slow down so we don't win by too much. We'll keep our bots nice and soft and easy to dominate. All right, the numbers are going down. We're going to be below triple digits here in a minute. That's a good thing. Yes, good win margin. Goal two complete. Goal three, a racer has got to be intimately familiar with the circuit to test your track knowledge. I want you to race this event. I want you to win this event without the race map. Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. I only use the map occasionally for certain cues. I have to go 350 yards or less behind the hunted car. We can go off track and not be penalized, except for speed on this one. But it is a good idea to stay on track as much as possible. But not all the time. For speed's sake. And damage's sake, you get more racing dollar reward. And there's less damage. We're comparing where we are in the track to where the other car is in the track, and so sometimes it appears we slow down or speed up, and then we're consistent speed, and it's because of the uh, place on the track for the hunted car. 
I want to keep this around 300. I'm at 200. I need to get it back. All right, looks like they're on a faster part of the track. So they're getting it back to where I want it. Making a turn. I'm getting too much close, too much advantage. I'm getting too close. He's going to slow down on the turn ahead, which brings us down a little bit below 200. He's going to be on a fast part, so he's going to be a little faster here. I don't want him to be so fast, he's going to, I'm going to lose the race. Right around 300 is good. Well, that's just nice. That beats 324, wasn't it? 47 plus. Continuing on with service without service. That was pretty good. How about the same track this time with opponents win this race without the race map? Take the outside. She's very congested on the first lap from the inside. And I'm going off track and losing a lot of speed. Kind of a narrow window to keep out of the back of the car and on the track when you get into a turn. That is the challenge. Going into the side of a car, not the back of a car. Come on, Cranger, we're coming for you. I'm trying to win by no more than 30. He's going to slow down a lot for this turn. The numbers start to go back up. Oh no. <laughs> you never start to go down. I need to let it run. I have to block it. I got so close. Okay, that's a win. There's our new driver level eight gold reward. Now to win without service, I may need to change over to allowing myself control of my brakes. You've unlocked time trial terms later. While I'm in the heat of the moment, just achieved driver level eight. I want to check fame points total sixteen thousand two seventy two. You're catching on quickly, so I'm going to lower your steering assist. This should give you a better feel for the car. Complete this event with low steering assists. Since it's critical, I'll try to win without having control of the brakes and the throttle. But soon I'm going to have to control where I brake in order to uh, 
in order to win without service. Let's see up here it says assist or low. Listen, we turned that car. When you're using brake assist, it seems the faster you can get to, to a straight configuration with your front wheels, the less they leave your brakes on. Keep that in mind if you like racing with the brake assist. Tilt A, I guess the Since you don't have throttle, it decides when you put the throttle back on. And so maybe that is in control of when the throttle goes back to if you have your steering straight, it could be turning your throttle on as soon as it gets straight. Oh no, I've been eliminated. <laughs> oh, I thought I had time. And I wasn't thinking about the elimination, I was thinking about the end of the, end of the race. Well, it appears I'm going to have to turn off brakes early. It's going to turn off brakes and put them low anyway, soon. So with no service, I'll need the brakes off, the brake assists off, or I'll put them on low. See if I can win. However, that will be the subject of our next video. Thank you for watching. Here is a link to go back to the beginning of Amateur, if you're interested. Or maybe it's the end of... Uh, take you back to the beginning of Racing School Advanced, I'm sorry. And here's a button for subscribing. Please thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you for watching.